Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to install TensorFlow and Keras. Also, how to set up CUDA and GPU on Windows environment. To install TensorFlow, first we need to install Anaconda package. To install Anaconda package, first we need to go to anaconda.com here. And then here we need to click on free download. Once you click on free download, you will get the download button here. Once you click on download button, you will be able to download the recent version of Anaconda package here. Now we need to click on Anaconda package here. Once you click on Anaconda package, uh, you need to click on next button. And then we need to click on I agree so that uh, you will be accepting the license agreement of Anaconda 3 here. Next, uh, you need to select these two check marks. The first check mark is to add the Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable. And second one is to clear the package cache upon completing the installation of Anaconda 3 here. And then we need to click on uh, install button. Once you click on install button, uh, it will take some time and then Anaconda will be installed on your machine successfully. Next, you need to click on finish button here. Once the Anaconda 3 is installed on your machine, next uh, you need to type a command uh, Anaconda PowerShell prompt in search bar. Here we need to create a new environment to install the TensorFlow. To create a new environment, we need to type this command conda create minus minus name pf python is equal to 3.9. In this case, pf is the environment name and uh, I am going to install python 3.9 in this environment here. Now once you click on enter button, it will ask you to type yes here. I will type yes, then I will press enter button. Once you click on enter button, it will download the necessary files and then a new environment will be created. Next, we need to activate the new environment with the help of Conda Activate TF here. And then we need to install the Coda toolkit. To install the Coda toolkit, we need to use this uh, command. So once you type this particular command, it will again ask you to type uh, either yes or no. Type yes and then press enter button. It will download the necessary files and then CUDA toolkit and CU DNN will be installed in your machine. Once uh, CUDA toolkit is installed, next we need to upgrade the pip command. Uh, for that reason, we need to use this command that is uh, python.exe minus m pip installed minus minus upgrade pip here. Again, uh, it will download the necessary files and then uh, it will install the pip here. Next, uh, we need to install the TensorFlow. For that reason, we need to use this command pip install tensorflow is equal to 2.10. In this case, I am installing uh, tensorflow 2.10 because uh, tensorflow 2.10 is the last version which supports uh, GPU on Windows native environment. If you want to install tensorflow uh, 2.11 onwards on Windows environment, you need to use WSL2 so that uh, you can use GPU uh, on Windows environment. In this case, I am installing uh, TensorFlow 2.10. Again, it will download the necessary files and then uh, the TensorFlow will be installed on your machine. Next, we need to install one IDE to type the programs and then execute here. For that reason, I will be using uh, a Jupyter Notebook. So, I need to install Jupyter Notebook. For that reason, I will need to use this command conda install anaconda colon colon Jupyter. Once you press the enter button, it will download the necessary files and then Jupyter Notebook will be installed successfully. To use a Jupyter Notebook in a Conda environment, we need to install a Clarset Normalizer. Again, it will download the necessary files and then it will be installed on your machine. Next, uh, we need to launch the Jupyter Notebook. For that reason, we can use this command that is Jupyter Notebook. Once you press the enter button, a Jupyter Notebook will be launched in a default browser here. In this uh, browser, you can uh, type the commands to check whether the TensorFlow is installed successfully or not and uh, GPU is enabled or not. To import the TensorFlow, we can use this uh, command that is import TensorFlow as TF. And then uh, to check whether GPU is enabled or not, we can use this command that is print tf.config.list underscore physical underscore devices GPU. Once you run these commands, uh, uh, TensorFlow will be imported and then uh, if GPU is enabled, you will get a message something like this. That is a physical device. 
name of that particular physical device in this case i got uh, gpu 0 the meaning is we have only one uh, gpu installed if you have more than one you will get gpu 0 gpu 1 and so on and the device type we can notice here it is a gpu here so in this case uh, we were able to install uh, tensorflow on windows uh, native environment which supports the gpu here i hope uh, you understood how can we install tensorflow on windows uh, native environment if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching